Science? Yeah. Directions? Yeah, right. Let's talk about that. Good Mythical Summer. Today we are once again tackling science experiments without any instructions. And we did a pretty good job last time we did this. Yeah. You been doing anything to like practice up, get your mind ready? Well, I've actually been uh, going to the mental gym six days a week, man. Oh, so your brain is pumped. There is no mental gym. See how weak your brain is? Oh, I guess I need to go to the mental gym. <laughs> hey! It's time for Science Without Guidance featuring the Beaker Boys. Here's how this is gonna work. We're gonna be given a set of items used to conduct a crazy science experiment and then try our best to figure out what we need to do with those items in order to get a specific and wild scientific result. Why? Because we're the Beaker Boys. Beaker Boys! Now, there's also gonna be a decoy item thrown into the mix in every round. That's Beaker decoy. Kind of throw us off. Just basically not meant to be there for the experiment. Mm -hmm. We're not gonna know what that is. We're gonna start out with 40 points, and if we can't put the right pieces together for an experiment, we can ask for a lifeline. All right, the more helpful the lifeline, the more points it's gonna cost us. We're gonna have 10 minutes to figure out each experiment, and if we still haven't cracked it when time's up, that's an additional five point deduction. If we still have at least 20 points at the end, we're gonna win a cheer from the mythical crew for exactly pi seconds. Wow. And if we don't, they're gonna boo us for pi seconds. Science can be so cruel. Okay, gentlemen, in this first round, you will use some combination of the oh. items in front of you. What have you done? Nothing. I, well, I tried to Nothing, catch teacher. It. The beaker boy, one beaker boy threw a bouncy ball to the other beaker boy, and the one second beaker boy tried to catch it with no look, and he went into the beaker boy's coffee. <laughs> oh, you did a uh. no look? Yeah, I was, <laughs> he was trying to do a no look. Well, you guys have already no figured stuff. out the experiment. Can I? It's can one beaker boy not look at the beaker oh. boy's ball? The beaker boy's ball bounced out of the beaker boy's coffee. It's it, not in there. It oh, really? bounced out. Um, okay, so you know what you're trying to do. You're trying to figure out this experiment. And so there are lifelines. One is a message from Science Mike about the scientific principle at play, which yeah. costs one point. They were helpful last time. I tell you which item is the decoy, which costs two points. And I tell you what result you're trying to achieve, which costs... Three points. Okay. Now, guys, oh, we're not going to need any lifelines, Stevie. Okay, that's how it went last time too. I you, thought that these were going to be magnets. You only have ten what minutes, and we're going to start a real clock that counts down. And considering you're already touching everything, I'm starting the clock right now. We thought it already started. Okay, Link. I think what, what I think the reaction is. This is one long string of beads. Here's my reaction. This is a long string of beads. If you can find the one end of this bead, I think I know what, what this is. I, the decoy item is the bouncy balls. What we're trying to do is we're trying to, we gotta get all these bouncy balls out of this, okay? Bouncy balls are just distracting. Okay, what about this beaker, boy? No, the beaker is very important. Yeah, have we you take ever all this. Smelled a uh, rubber ball? Link, stay with me, beaker boy. Don't be a, don't be a beaker loser. All right. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. We're going to begin pouring this out into that beaker. Maybe this should have gone in the beaker. In fact, yeah, put this in the beaker. What? Okay, okay. This I is understand. gonna be like a momentum that it's gonna have its own momentum, and you're gonna, it's gonna work just like water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got this. Why now, is this so freaking long? It doesn't need to be this long. The the bouncy ball in the coffee is a really good omen. Don't yeah, that you think? that was just just for entertainment purposes. Like, what well, do you want to get? Do you want to confirm? Well, you, let's watch Science Mike's video. It's only one. It's only one point. Okay. This experiment may seem like it's defying gravity, but it's really a surprising interrelationship of physics, energy, and momentum. Yeah. See, I this that is, is totally consistent. Totally consistent. Have you, have you seen this or something? No, I just I I, I thought this was a bunch of magnetic balls. Oh god! Oh oh oh, oh oh oh! It's already doing it. Oh, it's already oh, doing it. Don't oh, let don't oh, let it happen. Too early. It's premature. Don't let it happen. Don't premature. let it happen. I'm gonna hold this down here and I'm gonna catch it. You're gonna hold it up high. And you're gonna let it, you're gonna start it and let it go and we're gonna wow. The Beaker Boys, the Beaker Boys. We're back. We don't need tips. This is, it's like siphoning gas. You're, you're doing it again. Oh. What? You're so, hey, you know what? It's, this is so, let's, let's, no, let's I want it. You're no, so I'm... shaky. This. Start. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Try to keep. Try. Oh! 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 Oh!
to you. Okay, hold okay. on. Okay, okay. If you could get it to come out of that and to go into this, and I could get it to come out of this and go into this, go into that, it could be a perpetual oh, motion oh, machine. Oh. Yeah, that's... The beaker boy, now you put your freaking chair on it. Do you want this to go into that? Oh, 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 oh. Okay, all right, I think we did yeah, it, I mean, right? Oh! <laughs> it's still happening. It's still happening. This is the longest pull cord in the history of, I mean, you want to be that far away from a lamp? Okay, Stevie, that was it, right? You you are all over it, all about it. Uh, why don't you watch a, a clean video of Caitlin demonstrating it? Yeah, I want to see a clean video of Caitlin. Yeah, yeah, we did, yeah. Been there, done that. What? Yeah, that's what I was hoping we could get. What? Ours didn't do that. It it arced up. No, that was happening. It, it wasn't happening as much as it was happening with hers, but it was beginning to happen. But it was we were there was just too many things going on. I'll, we didn't Guys, even do this. I'm really proud of you. Do you want to know the science behind what you just did? It momentum and inertia. Well, it's surprisingly complex and still being studied. To the best of our understanding, due to the combination of kinematic energy and the rigidity of the bead chain structure when you pull upward on the chain an equal downward force is created however since the downward force is not able to equally expend that energy due to the limits of the jar a sort of kickback is created pushing the energy back in an upward direction causing a surprising self-siphoning Our, phenomenon to answer your question no we don't want to hear the explanation <laughs> Okay, guys, I want to uh, see if you can keep this streak going with this next experiment. The lifelines are all the same. The cost, the points, everything's the same. And your 10 minutes is going to start right now. This is a marshmallow. There's an egg. We have an interesting some tongs that can tong an egg. Could also tong a uh, marshmallow. And then we have uh, a lighter. And then we have um, we have some we have some water here. Uh, um, we have a um, that. Just, I'm just doing this for ambiance. So just, I think that this the candle is expendable and it's just here to make us feel good and like make it a little romantic. All right, so light the marshmallow. So then, it's, so I think we have to burn a marshmallow. Will it even light? It's kind of something we've seen on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Will Will a marshmallow light on fire? I've got a lot of experience. With this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, but uh, you know, um, it can't hurt to do it again, an right? Egg. Now, I, I mean, think, I got plenty of water. Here's to put the thing. It out I with. think the water. I think the marshmallow might be designed to catch the egg and keep it from breaking. Watch. See. Yep. But do we have another egg? First of all, just put an egg in water and see what happens. And I, I definitely think this plus an egg is part of it. And let go of it. I can't because the bottom of the, it's too narrow down you there. You could have let go at the top. Oh, that's cool. That's kind of added to the ambiance. And you know, an, oh, the old egg underwater. And then if you boil it. I think it might wait till, have, yeah. wait till it boils. I honestly think you're on the right track here. This is going to float the egg to the top when it heats up. And we just wait. My arm got tired. Okay, we need, we, okay, we need Mike's video in the very least. A metallic optical illusion can be achieved by a combination of incomplete combustion, water repulsion, and light reflection. Incomplete combustion? Uh, what, what, what? He said an optical illusion can be achieved with incomplete combustion, that's smoke. Yeah, exactly. Uh, what was the second one? Well, I just heard illusion and incomplete combustion. I can't get this, I can't get the egg out I think now. we just call it a wash. Deal with other eggs. All right, so I think we need to use this to make smoke. Guys, I'm going to give you a hint. I'm not going to take away any points. There's nothing that we decided to do that would catch on fire and cause a lot of smoke. So, um, Like this? Yep. Yeah, so, you know. Like, like you didn't want us to do this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So anything about I mean like this just, right here? Yeah. Well, what's the second lifeline? Give us that one. The decoy is the marshmallow. Yeah, I knew it. Okay. Go ahead and give us the, the outcome. You have to make something dark for it to really shine. Reflection. Make the egg dark. Here's another egg. You want to burn <laughs> that egg How do we make around. smoke? I think if you bur I think they're fine with lighting this and then the egg's not gonna catch on fire. You know, but, yeah, but you take these. And you hold that. And then you make the egg dark. 
Oh gosh, the egg gets dark so fast. Holy Moses, look at that. So once we make this egg blackened, it's gonna be shiny. What? How's it gonna get shiny? We're gonna put it into the water. Okay. So this is incomplete combustion. Yeah, then we're gonna yeah, put this charted. black egg into the water and something amazing is gonna happen. All right, so we're gonna drop it in here and it's- Get rid of that one though. Let's get a new glass. And I think that this is gonna blow our minds, Link. Oh my gosh! Holy, what the crap! Did you see Did you see that? It was like a blue reflection. Crazy you guys, blue egg. It makes a metallic egg. It makes a metallic egg. You've done it again. Let's, yes. um, what about one of those clean videos, though? Yeah, let's see a clean, yeah, clean. video. It's clear. The egg. It's not. It's so. It's so shiny. It looks clear. It's like. It's like metallic. And yeah. And Caitlin got hers did fully and when you all take black, it back so out, it was even more I, metallic. So okay. by holding the egg over the candle's flame, the oxygen, oxygen, in its combustion process is restricted, which causes soot to form on the egg's shell. And soot, soot shiny is hydrophobic. So when you drop the egg into water, it repels the water and forms a thin layer of air. The silver you see is simply an illusion caused by light reflecting differently in that air layer compared to the water. So if you want to look like silver surfer underwater, you should just burn, burn yourself. yourself a little bit and then hop in. Real quick, we want to remind you that all of the episodes, the entire first season of Ronstadt, the scripted podcast that we're starring in, is out now. So now you can just do the whole binge listening thing yeah. right now. Wherever you get your podcast, go check it out. Mythical.com slash Ronstadt. Immersive audio experience. Lots of positive feedback on People Ronstadt. are loving the story, so get involved in the conversation. All right. Start are you guys going to go three for three? Yes. On your marks. You know what? We've been underestimated. That's yes, right. Every time. Go. Right. We not... technically can't lose at this point, but you know what? The Beaker Be Boys. Beaker Boys love a challenge. So we're adjusting the scale. We're saying that if we can get out of here with 27 points. Which requires okay. which requires us solving this. Basically, we got to do it. Then, then we'll still take the cheers. We're that confident. Sight unseen. Now we know that cornstarch and water makes a what do you call that kind of liquid? A non-Newtonian. Non-Newtonian. Uh, a U. It's not a Euclid. It's a. It's a. Um, it's awesome. Uh, Ublick. And we should just make that just because. Yeah, it's fun. But then what are we gonna make? I think we can make it in the bottle. I think the TP is the is the culprit here. Man, if Mr. Wizard could see us now, Eddie. Is he still alive? Am I old enough to call you Eddie? I don't know, but uh, I don't have a funnel. You know, you could cheat and use the inside of the toilet paper, even oh, though oh. I, don't, I think it's a decoy. Good idea. Okay, all right. That worked. Yep, perfect. Don't get too much cornstarch on the microphone, because that'll probably be... I got, I got a little in my mouth. So shake it. It's, we don't have enough cornstarch in there. I mean, how do people build ships in these things? We can't even... Make oobleck. Uh, look, okay, uh, science mic, please. Yeah. The interaction of air pressure and water's attraction to itself can really overturn what you thought was possible. Air, air pressure. Water <laughs> attracted to itself overturn. So I think we put air. Oh, oh, you're right, okay. And we, we turn it upside down and, and nothing will come out. No. But it's, it has nothing to do with cornstarch. We can. It's a simple lifeline. Uh, do you want to go there? For pride, you don't want to? Uh, the Beaker Boys. Well, but it would be nice if the cornstarch was not a part of this, it would be nice to lay it aside because it's causing We've, quite a mess. Yeah, it is. Okay, Stevie, well- Stevie, do we what, have what, to what's use what's the cornstarch? Decoy? Yeah, it did cause quite a mess, didn't it? But you don't need it. Ah! <laughs> you stinker. Yep. All right, well, I'll save that for my All biscuits. Right. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting rid of this. Water and air. Water uh, sticks to itself and air, what did he say, under pressure? I think what you were getting at is that you pour this in here. All of it, you think? I think halvesies. Why halvesies? And then I think you turn it upside down. Hold on, we have to use the toilet paper. Ooh, I think that's just to wipe out the cornstarch. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna try what you say. Just, yeah, just turn it upside down. I'm gonna use my hand. The toilet paper is just to keep, you, keep your hand, just to wipe your hands up. And then you're saying, if I remove my hand, the, the water will stay. 
<laughs> it's not gonna happen. No, no, I'm saying put it on the put it on the uh, the the ground. Oh, and then yank my hand out. Yeah, and but hold it, but hold it. You gotta hold it tight, but don't don't break anything. Well, of course that's now. Now, no, 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 no. It's like one of those Reddit. <laughs> it's like one of those Reddit. You know what? Screw y'all. We don't need the corn starch. Ha ha ha! The Beaker Boys. The Beaker Boys present corn starch toilet paper water tower. <laughs> I don't think so. We can still win if we know what the reaction. Put it down. What's the reaction we're going for? When you think you'd get wet, things stay surprisingly dry. Bottoms up. Yeah, so we're all over this. Toilet paper. That was not helpful. Do we just need the middle? I think it might be something about like just a simple little square of toilet paper. Less than half your time is left. Just put on the top as a cap. We'll hold the water. Turn it back over. Just, and get this a little bit wet. Like this. And now just drape it. Like this. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. And now turn it over, slowly. Turn you want me to go slowly? Slowly, Beaker Boy. Slowly. Slowly. Slower than that. <laughs> what do you mean slower than that? Hold on, I think, you, you're doing it, 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 you did it. He did it. You did it. <laughs> we did it? You did it. You I got bet, all three. I bet Caitlin made it look more cool. Huh? Yeah, she did. Oh, she filled it to the uh, rim. Uh, all the freaking way. One, oh, one square. Oh, oh, and then she even took the... That was way cooler than ours because I thought that this was, this is a little bit of a cheaty thing that we did. Yeah, where, and I, I feel like you gave us, I you mean, know. you should give us half credit because our bottle was half full. Man, she has a way of so, being okay, a lot cleaner So what's than the us. principle there? So it all comes down to air pressure. When you turn the bottle of water over onto the toilet paper, some water leaks out and creates a seal, but also lowers the amount of air pressure inside. With the air pressure on the outside of the bottle being higher than the inside, the pressure moving in an upward direction is enough to counterbalance the gravity pushing down on the water, allowing you to turn it over with no spillage. You gotta get it all the way to the top. So that's bulging. There you go. And then you take this, place it on there so it catches, and then you just pull down. And, and then, then you turn it over. And you turn it over. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> take that, Caitlin! <laughs> the Beaker Boys strike again! What do you have to say for yourself? I uh, did it cleaner. Mm. <laughs> but we still get. Three point one four seconds worth of cheers. Yay! Oh, that ended abruptly. Oh, okay. Thanks to Science Mike, our close friend and knowledgeable science person, right, uh, for helping us today. And check out Mike's uh, show, The Cozy Robot Show, every week on YouTube. Also, his podcast. Plus, watch the brand new Mythical Society series with Mike, Friend Science. It's airing Tuesday. It'll teach you how friendships work by using our friendship? Yeah. Yes. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. Hi, I'm Friendly from, from Houston, Texas, and I just finished Space Camp. It's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Oh, huh. man, everybody's dream. Never went there. Never went there. Wanted to. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Click the top link to watch us find out what the cube personality test will tell us a good mythical more. And to find out where the Will of Mythicality is gonna land. All nine episodes of season one of Ronstadt are out now. Check out the whole series on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts.